Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we focus on making informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis Trading Plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. Before we pull up our video, we always want to start off our disclosures. Any symbols you see today should not be referred as a trading recommendation. No matter what foreign investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can't lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for informational purposes only, future results not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility, trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our forex technical analysis trading plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. In each video, we look at the prior session's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll review the gold chart to come up with leading sentiment. We'll try to create a low volatility and inside bar watch list, and we have an education spotlight at the end. Please send your feedback and comments to contact at dmbfx.com, and let's head to the charts. As usual, we are starting off with the daily chart of gold, and as usual, we are in awe. I mean, look at that. Just, just beautiful. Um, whoops. Obviously, what we talked about before was, you know, watching these wicks. We got above the wicks, and we have just taken off. And, you know, of course, there is that great inverse relationship. As the stock market across the world are falling, people are finding safety in gold. Um, we aren't, with our, you know, a sincerity cannot give you advice on gold at this price. Um, again, it's about your risk tolerance. If you feel <laughs> gold is, is it, then it's it. You know, gold did break 1800 today. So, uh, you know, it, as you can see, gold can go higher. Um, it's just your risk tolerance. When we come over to our hourly time frame, we can see that we're a little bit o overbought. Um, and for the most part, we can saw a little bit in yesterday's range, and then we've moved up. Um, so what's uh, important about this is that this seems to be, you can see the point of control here, 1752. Uh, as we watch that, that gets us uh, within uh, yesterday's range where the, the kind of peaked out at, what price level it peaked out at, and it gets us uh, where um, today's range is kind of peaking at also, even though we moved higher. So gold looks great. Watch 1752 um, as it pulls back to see if we get some volume support. And other than that, um, just stand in amazement <laughs> so let's go on to uh, the pound dollar as we look at the daily chart here with the pound dollar uh, we talked about this range we've been talking about it for a couple weeks and within that range we talked about the top here 1.645 and then we talked about the bottom right around 1.62 and we told you you know look it, we're in this tight range Whenever it decides to break out of that range, be ready, be prepared. And so yesterday gave us a wick, but the buyers came back and found value. And today is a, is a tell because not only did we break it, but we're closing below it. So um, it's going to be interesting to see. We can see that the 200 moving average here, this orange moving average, is right at our previous support of about 1.61, 1.6075. So it be nice to see if buyers find value here, as they did here in the past. So in the past, in May and June, uh, we found value at this 1.6075. Will that happen again as we kind of make sense for us to come down and test that? And notice also that is the backside of this previous downtrend line. So there's a lot going on there. As we come to our market profile on a, on a one-hour time frame, we can see that we are in a buy zone and that we're well below our long-term moving average. And we can also see that the dollar uh, took control here. And at the beginning, we can see that we started to get a little divergence. Now the pound is moving up a little bit, which is allowing uh, us to level off, even though the dollar is still continuing to move up. As we come down here, it's a little bit easier to see pound moving down, dollar mo moving up. Um, if that continues, this pair will continue to move lower. And again, on our daily time frame, we're going to watch and see what happens at this 1.6075. How about the euro dollar? 
The Euro doll is a lot uh, choppier. Uh, there is a lot going on in here. Um, and, and as I said yesterday, now the pound dollar, we can say, moved out of the range a little bit and you feel a little bit better. The Euro dollar is still in this range of, you know, again, smaller time frames, you can find a trade. But on these larger time frames, you have to say this is just a consolidation mess sit on hands. As we come over, we can see on the daily, I'm sorry, on the one hour time frame that we continue to snake around neutral and our long term moving average. So you would think as we now come underneath it that we will start to move back up as we continue to snake. But that doesn't necessarily have to happen because we're just in the neutral zone and we're just below the long term moving average. Like the pound dollar, we can see that the dollar is in control here on the euro dollar. And we can see it once again, the dollar moving up and the euro making a stiff move lower. Um, but as in comparison, as we put them on top of each other, we can see that at least the euro is moving sideways, which is allowing price to hover instead of continuing to move lower. So for me, um, I, I would really like to see us back on the daily, get out of this tight range, uh, get above... Uh, at least possibly uh, 1.6, I'm sorry, 1.4 uh, to uh, maybe move up to 1.5 um, or at least get below these wicks here to go short. Otherwise, we remain in this tight consolidation range. This big move here, remember, was the first day of that big move uh, down. Let's end with the dollar franc. And here we finally got a breathing day. Um, and it's an inside bar. And as we look at this big push down, certainly we have to start thinking uh, that the market is oversold. So, um, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to automatically uh, move uh, all the way back up here to 0.76. Uh, but it does mean that the market is oversold at these price levels. So as we switch over to our hourly time frame, we continue to be uh, in the buy zone. We continue to be below neutral, continue to be below the long-term moving average. What we can see is that just by a fraction, the dollar took control, but the franc is still positive. So uh, as we can see the dollar moving up and the franc moving down, if the franc moves back up and the dollar bounces off this long-term moving average, we're going to see a move lower. Um, but right now, the market is breathing just a little bit of this long move down, you know, opposite of gold, uh, just the, the dollar franc has just been beaten up. So we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get a couple of dojis just like we did here uh, before we get another push lower. Or we may, uh, you may want to watch the top of this wick here of the inside bar uh, as we move, move higher back to... Because we move down quickly, we uh, there might not be a lot of volume resistance as we move higher. And now it's time to take a look at our watch list. First, we have our low volatility watch list where we're watching the Bollinger Bands on a one hour time frame. And we'll be watching the dollar franc and go figure. Also, in our inside bar watch list, we have the dollar franc. That's when we're looking at the daily price action. Today's range, the high and low, is within yesterday's high and low. So we'll be watching for a breakout on the dollar franc. As we move to our education portion of our video, we've been talking about know your plan and trade your plan. Well, another way of looking at that is letting your plan work for you. And the only way we can let that plan work for you is if we have measurable goals, measurable objectives. You have to know why you're trading. So many people trade the trade um, or they lose track of why they're trading as far as to make money, to pay for a vacation, to, you know, whatever it may be, you have to see, are you achieving your goals? Are you taking steps towards your goals? Otherwise, you're trading the trade and then you lose, uh, you lose focus, you lose your way, you may begin to over trade, you may under trade. You have to measure, you have to keep records in a trade journal to make sure you're trading for a purpose, you're not trading just a trade. As you know, you can find our videos on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We have a page on Facebook, Are You Financially Literate? And we have our same resources for you. We have a free five-video course on high probability trading. 
This will show you how to develop your own, and through that, you may get a, a, an insight onto our trading style and our coaching style, and our coaching is what we primarily offer here at michaelglass.com. We help you one-on-one -on -one develop a personalized trading plan. We help you set up the measures, the, the milestones, so you can make sure that you're actually reaching and attaining your goals versus just trading the trade. More importantly, we help you attain that trader's mindset. Why not get paid to trade? For our Forex traders, we have rebates. It doesn't change the spreads and trading conditions. It's just rebates for your Forex trades. And finally, automated signals. You can re-seize them. They're from a, a bunch of different signal pro providers, which is great because you can find a signal provider who matches who you are as a trader to be traded automatically, or you can get the signals and trade them yourself. But the key to it is not about a provider, it's not about a system, it's not about an indicator. It's about having a trader's mindset so that you have the psychological capital to pull the trigger. And that's what we're all about. Um, so make sure that you take the time to measure your goals so that you are taking steps day by day to achieve your goals. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.